I have built a randomizer with the names of 200 plus Pokemon characters up. And using this, we're going to pluck two names out of there, and thus, those characters will fight each other using their best possible teams. Welcome back to Pokemon Master Showdown once again. And last time we had a confrontation between Paldean Elite Four member Rika and Luzamine, president of the Aether Foundation. But today it is another battle ahead as Darak, valet of the Battle Castle, takes on Lorelei of the Kanto Elite Four. Darak made his debut in Pokemon Platinum as the frontier brain of the Battle Castle in the Sinnoh region, before playing the same role in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. He is the host and caretaker of the Battle Castle under the orders of Caitlyn. He's also featured in Masters X and the Adventures manga, where he is shown to have a bit of a split personality when battling, going from calm to dark and manic in short order. The problem with Darak is that he has only ever been shown to use five Pokemon in all his appearances, Staraptor, Empoleon, Gallade, Houndoom and Entei. He's not a type specialist, nor is he tied to a specific region. He has two Gen 4 birds, two Gen 2 dogs, and one Gen 4 humanoid Pokemon. So, I split the difference and go for a Hitmontop to round out the team. Lorelei has the distinction of being the first ever Elite Four member fought in the franchise, appearing all the way back in the original Gen 1 games as the Ice-type member of the Kanto Elite Four, and is known for her logical, calculated and cool style of battling. She is a native of the Sevi Islands, collector of Pokemon dolls and the idol of Misty. Lorelei has made appearances in the games, the animation, under the name Prima in the main Pokemon anime and various mangas, being a villain in the Adventures manga, going so far as to make voodoo dolls out of ice. Here, she utilises a team of Slowbro from her many appearances, as well as the Mama Swine that evolved from the Pilo Swine she uses in her Fire Red and Leaf Green rematch team, compounded out by a team straight from the annals of Pokemon Stadium as she drops in Omastar, Executor and Wigglytuff, in addition to the legendary Winged Mirage of Ice Articuno. It is time to head to the stadium, and it is Battle Castle versus Four Island. It's Caitlyn's admirer versus Misty's idol. It's Darak versus Lorelei today on Pokemon Master Showdown. Both competitors have been known to have a bit of a dark side. We're ready to see how they begin this battle off. Of course, Lorelei's been away from the Kanto Elite Four for a few years now, and we wonder if she's going to be rusty. Darak begins with Empoleon, Lorelei with Articuno. So, Articuno goes for U-turn. It decides to get straight out of there. Maybe not the worst idea. And in comes Slowbro to face Empoleon. Empoleon goes to the Stealth Rocks, heals with the leftovers. So, what is Darak doing? Empoleon goes for the Scald and hits Slowbro. Slowbro goes for Flamethrower. That's a push for damage. Neither of them really claim dominance in that exchange. Two, not two, ineffective moves. So, Houndoom comes in. Slowbro goes for another flamethrower and Houndoom shrugs that off. So, Houndoom goes for a Dark Pulse. Slowbro survives but barely and Slowbro counters with that Thunder Wave. We're getting an exchange here. So, what is Darak going to do? Slowbro goes back and in comes Wigglytuff. It lands on the Stealth Rocks. Frisk finds the Assault Vest and Sucker Punch fails on Houndoom. That would have ended the Slowbro for sure if it had attacked. Houndoom goes for flamethrower and it hits the Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff hits Knock Off and knocks the Assault Vest off Houndoom. Wigglytuff has some leftovers and it is eating them. Wigglytuff goes to protect. Houndoom is paralysed, can't move. The only benefit Lorelei got there was the health recovery. Another flamethrower hits Wigglytuff, does decent damage and burns it. Wigglytuff goes for a body slam. Can't paralyse Houndoom because you can't paralyse what already is paralysed. Burn damage is hurting Wigglytuff, drops below to a 10th, it goes for a wish. I think there's going to be a protect on the next turn to try and block it out because one more attack will end it at this time. Flamethrower hits the protect, the wish comes true, Wigglytuff has healed up to two thirds but the burn quickly takes it back down. This is turning out to be quite an annoying opponent for Darak to deal with as Houndoom hits another flamethrower, drops it down below a third, another body slam hits Houndoom. These two are trading blows. Neither of them is willing to give an inch. Except now Wigglytuff's inch has been given. The flamethrower hits it. It goes down. First knockout to Darak. As Omastar comes in and lands on the Stealth Rocks. Not a good matchup here. 
Rupert. Can Derek do something? Omastar is probably going to outspeed. Omastar goes for the shell smash. It is getting faster. It is getting powerful. Houndoom goes to the hidden power straight into Omastar. Straight down. Quad effective. Grass type hidden power. Omastar did not stand a chance. This Houndoom is paralysed. It can barely move, but it has taken two knockouts. Mama Swine goes to knock off and Houndoom survives on 1 HP. Houndoom hits Mama Swine with the flamethrower and that is another knockout. Free. Free for the Dark Doggo. Articuno is back. Wearing the heavy duty boots I'd imagine, but it takes Houndoom out with freeze dry. The Dark Doggo's day is done. Well, it was a good fight while it lasted. Can Lorelei spring back with a comeback here as Entei enters the field. We have another legendary on the field. And Entei smacks straight into Articuno with a flare blitz. Hurts itself badly, but it nailed it with that attack. So, Entei hits the crunch on Slowbro. Drops its defense. Drops it hard. Down to 8%. But Slowbro heals itself with slack off. That's another crunch. That hurts Slowbro bad. It drops its defense again. Now Entei is paralyzed. Slowbro is barely hanging on. Slowbro is out and in comes Executor straight onto the Stealth Rocks. Entei hits a Trailblaze, which Executor shrugs off. Is there much left? Can Lorelei swing something? So, the Flare Blitz hits Slowbro. It would have ended Executor, but Slowbro weathers it quite well. That's a Trailblaze from Entei straight into Slowbro, but it does manage to survive. Slowbro heals itself again with a slack off. It is barely surviving. There's a lot of switching going around here, but is it going to do any good? Entei is paralysed, cannot move. So, Entei hits Crunch. Executor survives, but barely, and gets the defence drop. Entei goes down to Psy Shock. What a swing. My, my. Derek is not having this all his own way. Not now, not at the end. He has four left. Star Raptor comes in to face Executor. Goes straight for the U-turn. That drops Executor like a tree. Star Raptor goes back. Gallade comes in to face off with the Slowbro. Massive health recovery from the Slowbro. Gallade hits the knockoff and hits it hard. The heavy duty boots are gone. Thunder Wave paralyzes Gallade. But can it do anything? From here, Leaf Blade hits Slowbro. Scald crashes into Gallade. That crits, but... I think the slow bro goes down here. Knock off. Smashes into the slow bro. That's a blow to the chin. And slow bro did its best. It was a constant fawn in Derek's side. But it goes crashing to the ground. And in this instance, the battle goes to the Frontier Bray. The Elite Four member, the former Elite Four member, looks on in disgust. She has been beaten. She's muttered words to the effect of, how dare you? But Derek is not bothered. He did this for Caitlyn, for the member of the Univer Elite Four. What a moment for him. Well, another exciting battle here, folks. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me for another exciting installment of Pokemon Master Showdown. I have been your commentator, once and future gamer. Thank you very much for joining me, and we will see you on the next installment. Farewell. <laughs>